Everybody good? All right, go ahead. Mark, what does it mean to you to be a fast now in Russia, especially a school like this, the hands of any uh, I mean, it's a good honor and everything. I just, you know, I just gotta keep pushing and just keep getting better. Just try to achieve more goals and everything. Amari, I mean, as Chip mentioned, you for over a thousand yards in just nine games. The last guy at UNC to do that faster was Gio Bernard in 2012. Do you, mm -hmm. is he someone you remember watching in college or in the pros, Giovanni Bernard? Yeah, 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 I remember watching him. Yeah, he was a real good player. What does it mean to be in his company? Yeah, here where he's a bit of a local legend, really. It's really amazing just, just being able to just compare myself like, to some of the top players and everything. It's a good thing. Can you take us through that 54 yard touchdown run? Just kind of, yeah. you got the ball. I, it looked like the hole was pretty big. How, how big was it? And what did you see? And when did you realize you were going to go and touch? Yeah, really just the O line, just they did their thing all day and then they just opened up the hole. And they just put me one on one with the safety, and they put if they put me one on one with the safety, it's my job to make this. So. How about the four yard touchdown? That looked like a rugby scrub. Yeah. That was that was my O line too. I really just got got like four or five yards, and then got stood up, and the O line helped me push through the pile and everything. You just feel like you were picked up and carried in there. <laughs> yeah, kind of like that. Part of that had to be you, though, because there were at least five Campbell players that made pretty solid contact with you on that play. So yeah, some yeah. of it has to be you. But yeah, yeah. What is it about you that got in, too? Really just keeping my feet moving and then not stopping until I hear a whistle, really. How did it feel to get a breather for the first time? It's not like a wow, while. It seems like you play you know, pretty much throughout the whole game and getting almost 30 carries, I guess. What was it like to just kind of fourth quarter, sit back, relax, like, kind of take some stuff off your legs kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. It felt good. It felt good because... All the players got to play and everything. We got to see some young guys play and everything. So, I mean, it felt really good. Yeah. The, so Morgan, it's, it's four straight 100 yard games for you. Like in high school, I know those numbers were, were kind of commonplace for you. Like, I mean, what, what kind of run did you go on in high school? It, it was pretty much every game a 100 yard game. What, what were those numbers that you remember from there? Uh, high school? I don't, I don't even remember my numbers from high school. Lots of yards. Lots of yards. Tomorrow, uh, what was it like seeing Connor Harrell get in there at the end of the game? Uh, you guys came into UNC at the same time. What was it like watching him? Uh, uh, it was just really exciting to see him make that, uh, make that long run and thing, and him being able to show his talent for real. Because I feel like he got like a real good talent, and then, so I feel like he's gonna be really good for us next year. How much did you work on ball security this offseason? Obviously last year it seemed like some of the issues and the reasons why you got benched were some of the fumbles you had and this year to leave the country and rushes without a fumble so far. What was kind of the emphasis like for you during the offseason and how that kind of played out this season? Uh, really just taking a big look on it and then trying to lock in on it to make sure that's uh, the number one priority is to take care of the ball because that's the most important thing. Did you change anything in terms of how you held the ball or anything mechanically that you saw from last year that you needed to fix going into this season? Uh, really just, you just got to be more aware of it, just kind of the thing. So it's mean like, just always make sure you just take care of the ball. And whatever. You guys good with that? Maureen, what have you done anything different or extra in terms of trying to preserve your body with all the carries that you've gotten this season and recently? I mean, has there been more cold tub stuff? Like, what are you doing during the week to try to, like, heal and recover and, and, and you know, be able to stay the course with this thing? Yeah, making sure I'm just in the cold tub every day, hot tub every day, just getting in the training room all day, just getting recovery and everything so I can be the best player I can be Saturday. Is that, is that a daily thing? Or is there a certain day that you focus on that? More than others, I mean. No, I try to make it daily, really. Just try to get in there every day I can. How long are you in there? Uh, probably like 15 to 20 minutes in the cold tub and then getting hot tub 15 minutes. Yeah. I think you said these days when we talked to you that sometimes the soreness, you don't get rid of the soreness until about Friday, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's really just Sunday I'm a little sore and then throughout the week I'm just in the treatment room and everything. Just getting rehab and everything. So. All right. Thanks, Amara. Thanks. Appreciate it.